Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you five things you probably didn't know about Microsoft Project. All right, first thing, when you're linking two tasks together, there's some options you probably didn't think about. So when you double click on the link between two tasks that have already been linked together, you get the task dependency dialog. In here, you can put a lag in. This is to model things outside of the control of the project. Let's say, for example, we order something, we wait three, four, five days for FedEx to deliver it. You can model this using a lag. And you can do this by coming in here and doing two day lag, for example. So now you'll see there is going to be an extra two days waiting for FedEx to deliver. You should do that as a best practice instead of actually going ahead and adding duration to a task because that, you know, if there's work involved in that task, you're going to be up in the cost for that task. A, a lag is something that's outside of the control. That's not the point though. The other thing is you can also do elapsed dates to EDs. What that's they're going to do is take into consideration the weekends. So if I actually did four elapsed days, so now we're actually pushing out four days, but if the dec duration decreases, you can see it's one, two, three, four, because we're ignoring the weekend in terms of our duration, elapsed duration. Ignore the weekends. They are working days from a scheduling perspective. Another thing in here, you can actually do a 50% lag or a negative 50% lag. So now I've got a dynamic lag between two tasks. So if this is nine days, see we can get started when we're five days into it. If I make it five days, we're starting when we're 2.5 days in. So play around with that. E days, lags, percent lags. Really, really cool stuff. Another thing I really love, one of my favorite things that most people don't do is adding deadlines to tasks. To do this, double click on a task, go to the advanced tab, and you can see a lot of people like the constraints and stuff like that. They like to change dates. We know that we shouldn't change dates in Microsoft Project, but what you can do is add a deadline. I'm gonna come in here and actually give it a deadline of three, two, so Wednesday. So this task, we're now have a deadline. So if it goes past that deadline, it would now be considered late. The other thing that you probably didn't know is that when we do this, it'll actually add that task to the critical path. We're gonna to go to the critical task checkbox here. So we can see these are critical path. That's the longest path through the project. But if I increase the duration of my task three here, it is now up against its deadline and therefore considered critical. Pretty cool adding a deadline to a task that becomes late adds it to the critical path. Another really cool thing, you might see this entry bar here. So when I click in task names, I can come in and edit them nicely just like I would in Excel. You can access that by clicking File, Options, Display, and here you'll see the entry bar. I actually already had it, I love it. There it is, there's the timeline, we can remove that. Get some real extra real estate here, File, Options, display, entry bar. Boom, there it is. Now you've got that Excel like entry bar ready to go. Another thing you probably didn't know is, you know, I've actually found this to be unique to Microsoft Project and in fact Visio is whenever you press save, you lose your undos. So once I press save here, I can now long, no longer undo. So be careful when you save in Microsoft Project. And I always avoid using the auto save feature in Microsoft Project because I'd much rather have my undos than have it's my work saved. Microsoft backs it up pretty nicely now. So if the computer crashes, it will remember it. All right, another thing that I really love is, and I need to figure this out later in my career in Microsoft Project, is if you click on a task, it will remember that task as you switch between views. So I'm on task two, if I go to the task board, it's highlighting task two. If I go to the network diagram, it's highlighting task two. Go to the calendar view, it's highlighting task two. Well, not really on this one, but it's it's in display right now. Um, back to Gantt chart, it's highlighting task two. You know, just to prove that that's, if I go to task three, back to network diagram, it's focused on task three. So when you switch in between views and you wanna know more about a particular task, Click on it. 
All right, that was my top five. Let me know if you have another idea that I should have added to here. What are your things that you really feel like no one else knows about that you discover and you're like, wow, that really helps. Let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and I've got lots more videos. If you want to learn more about linking tasks, I'll put a link to that video in this one. Cheers.